This is John with hookahjohn.com. All right, today I might have just solved the age-long problem of having to clean your lotus. Come here, come here. So I was going to prepare a lotus, and this was all gunked on for last time. Another lesson that Hookah John's gonna give you is how to not let this happen, even though I have let it happen. Come with me real quick, come with me. I got the best idea. People are like, how do I clean it? Do I boil it in water? Do I use a wire brush? Come on, come on, keep up, buddy, keep up. Let's go, let's go. Do I, uh, like a steel scrub, wool type thing? Come on, let's go, let's do this. Guess what I'm gonna do for you. Check this out, try not to hit yourself on the car so I'm through. I was washing my car this morning, and I came up with this. How about we do this? Check it out, check it out. Get your good old home use power washer. Let's see how that works out. Maybe a little scrubbing now. So why don't you go ahead and stop that video and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see why that happened. Sorry for the camera angle. Everyone's doing homework, everyone's doing chores, washing machines on. Okay, so what I wanna show you is something kind of important. Um, why did that happen? Why was my Lotus like that? Now I'm gonna show you a Lotus that I just used earlier in the day. Hopefully it's not hot. Take the coals out there. And what you're gonna do is hope that you can take it off without a bunch of clump. Does that look like it's without a bunch of clumps? The guys at the lounge would kill me if they saw me do this. You're not supposed to have that donut hole. So what I can do, these bowls are very versatile, the Hookah John Ferris bowls. So I can kind of scrape that off. Kind of, not really. Okay, it actually worked. And I'll tell you why, actually the secret why this worked. Not by luck, but because I was using Tangier's tobacco. It doesn't stick. So that's pretty clean. I wouldn't go power wash that right now. Uh, you got a donut hole here. All right, we're gonna throw this away. And I'm gonna pack a bowl and show you how we do it, but you know what, I think I wanna change the camera style. All right, and, and hope to God that this washing machine stops. I don't know how bad that's affecting the video, but I mean, this is easy. Tangiers, you don't get crusty old bowls like I see a lot of you guys getting out there. It washes right out. That's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video was more of how to clean a dirty, disgusting lotus bowl. All right, I'm gonna be back in just a little bit um, and show you how we pack. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this and just show you how we pack these. And uh, this is the bowl, the lotus bowl that I cleaned out with the power washer outside. And this right here didn't even get cleaned. It's just old. And I mean, that's a flat one. You can see that's an old V1. Uh, it came off clean enough, not perfectly, not spotless, but usable. And that's how this one came out. Do I wanna clean any more of this? I don't think so. I'm so sorry about the washing machine. I don't have time to make videos anymore. I mean, look at me. Here we go. So how do you pack into a Hookah John Ferris bowl? People wanna know. And then they're always worried about their uh, lotus getting all clumpy and dirty. So that's the point. I'm gonna teach you how it doesn't even get that way in the first place. I didn't even mix anything here. What am I smoking? Orange soda and lime mint by Tangiers. Okay, thing is, these lotus, these uh, Ferris bowls look really huge, but they're not. They don't hold that much tobacco. And I'm not the type to like actually count the grams. I can just tell it's not that deep. And it's a bowl looks bulk, bulky because it has the, the lip, okay? But it's simple as that, but you want to kind of be clean. You want to clear out your your edge here, you can put that back in, but how low to go? Give it a little bit under that little lip, inner lip right there, that inner border. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I could, you could have done that like three minutes ago. But I didn't, I don't interrupt your washing cycles or any other cycles for that matter. All right, here we go. So I want to keep it kind of clean, make sure because you do want the lotus to kind of come into contact with this, but only those nubs. See the way they stick out a little bit there? Okay, those things should touch and maybe even leave a tiny gap. So if you do this, it's gonna work. It's hard to get a 
you need a microscope to get in there but make sure to get a hookah john official ferris bowl all right i'm gonna be right back and show you how it smokes okay so uh show i will show you what i want to do i lit coals earlier and then i lit more because i wasn't planning on doing this video okay now according to cloud uh they tell you absolutely do not preheat your lotus i say absolutely you do only for one minute or so so what we're gonna do with that okay put this here show you a little bit of that and then what we do is i lit too many coals again i don't know if i'm repeating myself in another machine in the background that would be the pool filter okay i'd like to put my coals in while it's there these coals are done already so they've shrunken down a little bit so i can actually get more than three in there i can get four in there and normally they wouldn't be down that long they would be uh, sorry, I'd get three cubes in there, barely, barely, and it'd be like two cubes in there and one like Russian rock style style out, right? Whatever that means. Okay, stone henching out. You know, what? I got another coal anyway since I relit again. So this is bad, bad form. Just bear with me. And then what we're gonna do is this is what I like to do. take my tongs and slide it right into what's going on here. I do this all the time. Slide it right in there. Be very careful, but it goes like that. And here's the bowl that I packed earlier. And maybe I'll have a little discussion with you as to why this is a terrible video, but still very useful. I should know, be very careful when carrying this bowl because I take this over like this. Do not, you know that lotus is hot and will burn your skin right off, like very bad. So never touch the metal, never touch charcoal, but I can hold it from uh, hookah John Ferris bowl because it'll stay it'll it maintains heat really well all right be right back I'm gonna apply this to my bowl all right so this is back to lotus and cleaning and why I did this video I did not plan on making this video a couple of reasons I don't use HMDs in my personal life I do once in a while just to get to know the product the reason I'm doing it a little bit more now because here, let me throw in a little plug for you. HKH Unwind, the first Hookah John Lounge is in Orange County. It's live, it's lit, it's ready to go and you guys can come. Google all that stuff, check out the Yelp and Google reviews, we're doing great there. Now, so I was doing this today because sometimes the benefits of using a Cloud Lotus is your session will last longer. I'm a Cubettes guy, I use foil, I use a flavor saver. I go through coals, but I don't care because I'm a coal guy. So I wanted to do this Lotus and I'm coming back and I pre-lit the coals to get them started. And I went to go grab my Lotus and it looked like junk, just like what you saw. And I was thinking, I was washing the car this morning and I'm like, oh, like a light bulb came on. It was like, hey, check it out. I got, I, I got a power washer out there ready to go. I, I got a dirty Lotus. Why don't I just power wash my Lotus? And it worked. Perfect now, but you know what? I'd rather do that then scrub with anything else or boil it in water. I just have no patience. But anyways, uh, use a Lotus, use uh, Tangiers, who's sponsored in this? Hookah John, Ferris Bowls, DSH Hookah. Sorry for the dirty hookah because it's so uh, dirty because I, I go through hookahs on the weekend just like a few sessions at a time and then I just don't clean them in between. At the lounge show, we have the most pristine and clean hookahs you will get. So get yourself out to HKH Unwind. Oh, in three weeks exactly from today, we're gonna to be partying at Hookah Expo Worldwide, which is in Las Vegas, October 8th and 9th. It's gonna be amazing. And if you see this video, make sure you get to that website, purchase tickets, it's not too late. That's it, I'm gonna to try to enjoy the rest of my Saturday. I'll see you guys later, bye.